So I have many years of experience in industry, and I also have now a few years being in education at the community college level. And throughout the years, there's always been questions posed. Uh, what's the difference between a certificate and, say, an associate's degree? And I can kind of help answer that question by giving you some examples. So, in this particular piece of equipment that we see here, this is what we call an industrial panel. And this panel has controllers, networking controls, DC to AC converters, which is just a power supply in our case, and a vision system. And all of this needs to be safely handled to distribute that energy and signals from a computer, PLC in this case, to say the vision system and its controller, which is right here. Now, a certificate is a starting point for you in your career at a community college that says, I have started a degree program and I have 10 credit hours, or I may have 16 credit hours. It's the very first starting point that gets you into the door at this facility. There's two reasons why a certificate is good to have. The first is if you are just a, a, a newly minted high school graduate, a recent graduate, and you decide to come to a community college, and you take a technical degree program, the opportunities are out there right now for you to get out in the industry and start your career. But you may need to know how to get your career started, and that company may want to know, do you know what you're talking about? Have you had some courses? Are you dedicated to what you're wanting to do? And that's where that skill certificate and regular certificate come into play. It gives you that opportunity to get your feet wet, take some classes, and get started in about your career. Now let's say you're a worker in the industry right now. And that company has got an opening for, say, a PLC, an automation technician, and you're a maintenance mechanic or an electrical mechanic. Coming back to a community college and taking two to three classes will be just enough to give you that certification that that employer is looking for. You're not interested in the full credentials of an associate. So you just need the very specific technical courses and materials that will boost what you're already doing in that facility. And so the dynamics of what we see in a community college are quite big. We have workers that are already working, needing more advanced techniques, say in PLCs, vision systems, robots. We see folks that are alignment, maybe working as a low-level technician somewhere. They, they may have a few classes already, and they're looking to become a better, more rounded, well-rounded type of technician. That's where the certification process really gives us that advantage here. And then the full associates is really that milestone that says that I have started this degree, I now have enough technical competencies and knowledge and skill sets that will produce and help me get a very good, if not entry-level position, a nice mid-entry-level type of position. And here's that I've been here, I've had students get into very large manufacturing facilities doing maintenance and repair. And the, the key operative word here is it depends on the situation. So let me just give you a quick rehash of everything here. A skill certificate is typically about 10 to 16 credit hours. It's a fundamental, it's an intro step, it's getting us going, it helps us branch and diversify out as we're taking our college career taking our classes. The 30 credit hour certificate is really used to help either get students and workers coming in that need just specific technical skills. They already have a degree, whether it's a bachelor's or a associate's, to get them the technical skills that will benefit them to either do a lateral career move, a different position, a new technical skill. That's what that's for. And then finally, that associates, that 65 credit hours, that 60 credit hour degree is that capstone that encapsulates all that stuff and gives you the most bang for the buck, as it were, that says that I have started a program and I have completed it. And your journey through your career will take you through varieties of steps and locations and technologies that not one of those, or maybe all of those, is going to be the right fit. And that's the key problem that we're going to face. You're going to need to take the steps to talk to 
folks in the industry. You'll need to take steps to talk to the instructors or maybe even the guidance counselors and uh, student service folks that are helping you out. The point of it is there's not one easy entryway into our field and there's not one easy exit because of all the differences of technology that we see. And that's what I want you to be able to understand when you're looking at these different careers and the technical sets that are out there for you. Thank you.